Great being back open, seeing all the regulars, being able to have some friendly faces back in the club. It's been a long six months for people like Alex Marion. He's the manager at this Burton Planet Fitness, and today he was able to once again open the doors to the public. Strict safety measures will be in place to limit the spread of COVID-19, including requiring all gym goers to wear masks at all times and limiting the capacity to 25%. Marion says staff has been fully trained in how to prevent the spread of coronavirus. We've increased our cleaning standards on top of using now a disinfectant that's on the EPA list of cleaners that are effective against COVID-19. We do 20 minute walk arounds on top of visiting high traffic areas and high touch points. And you will notice that every other machine here at the gym will be turned off and they're calling it social fitnessing. But some gyms are just not ready yet. Pam Bailey with the YMCA in Flushing says they won't be open until next week. So the timing of the governor's announcement wasn't the best. We would have had five days for our employees to be able to make child care accommodations. We have a lot of families and a lot of moms and dads. Bailey says they're using the extra time to make sure that the entire gym staff is ready. They will have sanitizing stations when you walk in and temperature checks at the front door. It also gives us a little bit more time to train not only our staff, but update our members because there are going to be differences whenever they come. And both Bailey and Marion are hopeful that there won't be any more shutdowns. Definitely a breath of fresh air being able to have my staff come back after having them gone for a little bit. In Genesee County, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5.